What's going on, True Believers? Chris Mack coming at you yet again with another awesome figure review. Today we are going over the Stiltman Build-A-Figure Wave Marvel's The Hand Ninja, which The Hand is, you know, one of those major pain-in-the-butt villains of the Marvel Universe. And it's just a really cool figure. I mean, yeah, it's kind of generic, but I like that it has that very samurai assassin look to it. Now you see the Hand Ninja there, as it says, Hand Ninja there, Stiltman there, Sadly, nothing there. I wish the hand had like a cool little logo that they could have splashed there on the top. And there, I love that product shot. You know, it looks very uh, akin to G.I. Joe, and you get those cool little flashing green eyes. Very epic there. Come around, and then this is different. We don't get a product shot. We actually get a very cool another rendition that we saw on the side, but like in full. So I appreciate that when you get some comic book art. If anyone knows the artist, please let me know down in the comments. Now there's a read-up. I'll make sure to get a close-up of that for you so you can read it. Same with the figures from the wave so you can see what you need to get for Stilt Man. Come around here to the side. Same very cool shot. Nothing on the bottom. And then believe it or not, you know, you have a majority of the end of the Spider-Verse figures in this wave, but he is the hardest to find. And I think primarily because it comes with the Stilt Man legs. Now, even though he does come with those legs, is he by himself an awesome figure or not? So let's get this assassin out and get a closer look at him. Backstory on the hand before we get into the figure. It's kind of murky. I mean, <laughs> it, they've been utilized in a lot of comic books. And, you know, different people have led him. I mean, Matt Murdock, Daredevil at one point has led him. Elektra has been part of him at one point in history. But their first appearance was... Daredevil 174 from September of 1981. And from what I've seen, they serve an ancient demon called the Beast of the Hand. And they practice in the occult. So what happens is they can kill someone and bring them back to serve the Hand. That's why we see with this figure, he has green eyes, which we will get to in a moment. So that's kind of a quick backstory on the Hand. Let's talk about this figure and the accessories now. So he does come with both a fist hand and an open hand. There are two sets, so I put uh, one on each of there. And then if you look here, up close, I really appreciate the skin tone. It looks very nice. It doesn't look uh, blotched or anything like that. Very, very clean. And you know, when you pose them, the joints really don't get in the way all that much as you can see. So the, the skin for the, both the fists and the hands, the fingers look good. And he can open his, you know, he can hold his katana very well. I like that on the hands. Let's see if we can get it in the light here for you guys. You know, you can actually see where veins and joints do actually go on the hands. So very cool stuff. And I like this where if you just want to do a cool little uh, karate pose with both of these in, uh, attached to the figure, it looks very nice. Next thing he does come with is a very cool katana and I like that it has that gunmetal gray for the blade and you can see where it's serrated it has that nice uh, tip off where a katana would all the black and the wrapping just very nice piece and it does fit very well in his sheath so you know you kind of see it's gonna go like that and voila looks good there Pose him back up. The next thing he does come with are two sets of ninja scythes. I kind of wish that they were, uh, I cannot pronounce the name, right, the Kamasumi or something like that. It's the ones that have the chains. That would have been kind of a neat little addition. But as you can see, the handle wrap, very cool. The hilt has that nice little nub on the end and gets smacked in the head with that. Very reflectant blades. Very nice stuff. So I like that even though this is like an army uh, building figure, that they made sure that the stuff that they gave him, you got some really really cool accessories and you know weapon storage even though there's not like a place to physically put them you can at least kind of stack them and put them like so so yeah, that your hand ninja can go into battle so the accessories are very nice so let's go ahead and take these scythes out go ahead and remove the katana now for the figure himself he's very well done let's see if I can get a close up on the eyes for you guys he has a very nice green eyes. I like that the balclava, I think is how you pronounce that, is kind of offset from the hood, so you can kind of at least see attention to the face. You know, then you got the red hood there. 
very good. I like the embroidery, or, you know, the, where the stitches would be around the outline. And then, of course, the folds where a normal hood would go. I'm glad that this is loose. This actually kind of helps immensely, and it doesn't have that aggravating little thing that where you try to stick it in the back, so you can kind of adjust it where you want. Looks le leather, has all the nice little cracks where it should be. Strap looks good. Love that silver. I kind of wish, but even though they would get lost, that the Shrukens did come out. But still, it's kind of a nice accessory. Very welcomed. I like that the gi that he's wearing has all the nice folds. Even though it's plastic, it looks cloth. I like that this part here is very loose plastic, so you can kind of move his legs around. I do kind of wish that this was, in a sense, actual... Um, rope you know what I mean that would have been nice but still you know it's easy to move around very pliable all the way around I like his bracers I think those look really nice again so there's not so much red in the figure they kind of give it that dark maroon so very cool there like all the attention the line work like these black um, braids around his arm nice stuff there of course get more folds very nice looking on the red on the legs do wish that they would have put the legal stamp on the bottom of the foot instead of right here, but at least it's silver, so you can't really tell, so no complaints there. The tabby boots, very cool. You can see where his toes are. Again, kind of the folds and the straps. Just very nice attention to detail. And you know, I like that even though people would think this is a throwaway figure, which I know a lot of people are going to buy um, a majority of these so that they can have several hand ninjas, which... For me, I thought about it, but A, these guys are hard to find. B, um, space. So I at least grabbed one so I can at least get the stilt man legs. And uh, I'm more and more just falling in love with this figure because if you think about it, you know, this is an ancient clan of assassins, so it very much reminds me of the League of uh, Shadows or the League of Assassins. So I could put him up against Batman, Daredevil, Wolverine, very much a lot of options that you can use this figure for in terms of villain for your photography or if you're just going to put like a fighting scene on your shelves. Articulation wise, he's quite bendy, though I will stress just like with any figure, warm them up first because with this figure, his head peg, like I took his head off and the peg on there was rock solid. I had to warm that up and move that around to finally get his head to move. So speaking of the head, You can go down about that far. Good stuff there. And you can get him to look back about yay so far. You can't look that way. You can't look that way. And of course, you know, if you've been with him more, you, you know, just warm him up a little bit more, which I think I'm going to do. I'm sure you can get his head down further. So very bendy head. He does have two different parts of articulation at the waist, so you can get him to look down or, you know, bend down super far and bend back quite far here because I think it's here in the waist and at the uh, ab. So very cool crunches there. I appreciate that. Arms up. 360. Upper bicep. Double jointed elbows. Hands can. Let me find the joint. There it is. I think. No, we'll do it with this hand. <laughs> hand can go down that much. Hand can go up that much. This one can too, but it's being a turd, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna monkey futz with it. Legs about that far out. And you know, if you warm up your figure more, I'm sure you can get it further. And that's why I said I like that this is loose plastic here so that you know you can get the legs up that far. It does have an upper thigh cut there, thankful. Leg can kick out pretty darn far, that's pretty good. And then the same thing for the back, because he's a ninja. I mean, come on, we got to make sure that he can bend very well. And then, thankfully, double joint and knees so you can get very cool kick poses. Leg goes, foot goes down that far, foot goes up that much. And, of course, ankle pivot. And then, of course, his waist. <laughs> and he does spin from the ab and not from the waist, but still very well articulated. I mean, he also does, so you can get further range, he does have a butterfly joint here, which you need to heat up so you don't bust. So again, you can get very good range. I think my only complaint is, you see how this kind of droops? I wish that they would have made the shoulders 
more broad. That's my only complaint on this figure because this kind of zoop, 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 zoop. They would have made that more broader. It would have looked a little more natural and I don't think this would have sloped as much. Now here's the hand ninja next to his fellow Build-A-Figure Wave mate, Miles Morales from the Spider-Verse. Both of them are part of the Stilt Man Build-A-Figure Wave and we will eventually go over the rest of the wave. I know I'm slow at it. But trust me, we have fun. Anyway, we've gone over Miles, so I'll make sure I leave a card somewhere on this review so you can check him out at your convenience. And also, how can you not do the hand without Elektra and Daredevil? Now this one, they're both from the Spider... Uh, spider... Spider, yeah. Spider Build-A-Figure Wave, the Mecha Spider. I love this Daredevil, but if any of you all have a red Daredevil for sale, or if you just want to donate it, I'm down for it because I'd love to have that OG look. The yellow one was cool, but mm, I grew up with the red, and that's just my thing. Though that one is super, super delicious. Moving along. As you can see, starting to put these characters together, if you want to omit Spider-Man out of the mix, just put in the Hand Ninja next to the other characters, and thinking back to that Frank Miller era <laughs> where the hand was introduced, and these two characters were up front and prominent. You're going to look great on a shelf, or if you're like me and you love to do action figure photography, you're going to get some great fights with these three characters. Maybe throw in, um, what's his name, Bullseye, and you're good to go. That's one character, speaking of that, I wish Marvel Legends would kind of release. It would be neat to have a stick. Um, stick was kind of the one that both trained both of these characters. Check out the comics if you want to know more about them. And then again, of course, Spider-Man always kind of came in and out of the hand verse, which that kind of confuses me why they decided to put him as part of this, uh, what do you call it? Him and Frogman into this Spider-Verse way. That was weird, but still cool to have in the collection. So anyway, what do you guys plan on doing with the hand ninja? Are you going to army build? Or are you just buying for the stilt man legs? Let me know what you all think down in the comments. And we'd also love to see any type of photography of your shelves or your uh, action figure poses as well. For being an army figure builder piece, I'm surprised at the amount of work that went into this character. I love how bendy he is. You can actually get his legs back, minus the butt flap. The accessories are awesome. And I just love that ninja look. And yes, it's supposed to be generic since he's just a hand soldier. And I can see why people want to do an army building set. But me, I'm just happy to have the figure and get all these great poses out of him and you know you could set him up against snake eyes and sh uh, storm shadow well i may be drawing a blank on gi joe anyway great piece love having it in my collection even though it doesn't really make a hell of a lot of sense with the wave that he came with so if you've enjoyed what you've seen please first and foremost as i always say check out your local comic shop or wherever it is you like to buy figures and grab yourself one or just check out online as well if you've enjoyed this review we really would appreciate if you take a moment to hit like share and subscribe helps the club channel more than you could possibly know and if you don't mind hitting that fancy little hand bell next to subscribe that way we can tell below content you guys get notified come to the channel and we love talking with y'all and hearing your thoughts and feedback down in the comments below or social media pages which i'll make sure I leave the links down in the description so with all that said photo slideshow coming up next Thank you all so much for stopping by, and I hope you all continue to have an absolutely amazing day reading, and happy hunting, true believers.